In this video, we're going to demonstrate one of the key capability of the 40 Analyzer and 40 Manager together, which is Enterprise Grade Management. To demonstrate that, we have a very simple topology. We have one HQ, which is where the data center resides. We have a 40 Gate and 40 Analyzer and 40 Manager in HA. And then we have three GEOs, Americas, EMEA, and APAC. And in each of these geos, you have multiple branches with 40 gates. So to show that first, we have 40 manager managing um, the analyzer and the 40 gate in HQ. And we're going to show that very quickly um, through um, the, uh, the FOS 6, which shows two devices um, and it shows that both of them um, and the current status of those devices. Next, you can see that all the branches, the nine other branches are unregistered 40 gates and through automation um, via our automated scripts which helps with configuration of these gates and um, the installation wizard, you can see that we could very quickly um, kind of onboard them um, to make them live. So, so far through the tools uh, that 40 Manager and Analyzer pro uh, provide, um, you're able to see how we have very quickly gone from one gate that has been managed by 40 Manager in, and in less than just a few minutes, you were able to see how we brought all the other nine branches online. So now that we've just brought all our nine branches up online, let's very quickly understand the health of all of these devices. To do that, we're first going on to the 40 guard screen to see um, what the devices are licensed for and what firmware does the devices have. To look at um, the traffic and what applications are uh, people or employees using in these branches, um, we go to Forty View to have um, a quick intel on that. To understand security and to measure uh, security risk, we go to security rating, uh, which looks at tens of um, compliance controls. The fabric um, view, uh, which is also included as part of uh, the management suite, um, would give you a topology uh, view of the same thing that we talked about in terms of measuring security risk. And if you'd want to understand um, not just the real-time view of something, but you'd want to look at how, his from a historic standpoint, um, how uh, access has been, um, how, how are my employees kind of... Um, uh, being able to um, do secure internet access, uh, we provide you um, uh, enterprise grade reporting, which kind of helps you address this question um, and look at reports historically as well. So the third feature that I want to demonstrate is role-based access control. So in our example, as we talked about before, um, we have three geos, we have APAC, um, Americas and EMEA, and uh, we have an administrator at HQ who could have access to read write access to um, all the devices. So, and you can see that very quickly um, as I log in as administrator, which is the super admin, I'm able to do um, all the, I can change configurations um, to any groups. Now, let's dial back and log in as an APAC administrator. Now, as an APAC administrator, as you would imagine, I can only look at devices in APAC region. So in my example here, you can see that I'm looking at um, changing the DNS server, which is pointing in this particular case to North America, which doesn't make sense. So I'm just going to make a simple change and point to a DNS server um, in Malaysia and just deploy that change. So net net, um, our offerings here as part of enterprise grade management um, helps uh, give our customers um, some features like automated deployment, um, 
visibility, uh, which is uh, deployment visibility or fabric visibility, um, and um, enterprise-grade role-based access control. Thank you.